Four-year-olds are impulsive, headstrong, and full of energy, but even they have their tough days. That was the case for a young boy named Christian, who was having a particularly rough day at school. He was causing a commotion and disrupting other classes. However, everything changed when passing police officer Precious Corner Jones noticed the struggling boy. What happened next is truly unbelievable and will warm your heart. Christian had never been fond of school, always preferring to play outside and enjoy the fresh air. As a result, he often grew frustrated and upset when he was stuck indoors, having to learn and play in a stuffy classroom. Unfortunately, the only way he knew to express his frustration was by becoming upset and causing a scene, and that's exactly what happened one day. The little four-year-old boy began to get emotional in class, wondering why he wasn't allowed outside. His sadness soon turned to anger, and he began to cry and shout, disrupting the class and even upsetting some of the other children. His teacher, though familiar with his behavior, still found it exhausting. She tried to comfort him and understand the reason behind his bad day, but once Christian was in his funk, there was no way to pull him out of it. Sometimes he would burn himself out, but other times it would continue until his parents came to pick him up at the end of the school day. Taking his hand, she led him out into the large shared space outside the classroom. There were no other kids there at the moment, so hopefully, Christian wouldn't cause too much of a distraction. He continued crying and shouting, eventually throwing himself on the floor and lying face down, sobbing into the prickly carpet. His teacher sighed and ran her fingers through her hair. She could tell she was in for a long day. In one of the other classrooms, a police officer had come in to give a talk. The class was studying the law, and their teacher thought the best thing to do was invite a real-life police officer to speak to them and answer their questions. Officer Precious Corner Jones was more than happy to show up and spend the morning with the kids. Being a mother herself, it was nice to spend time with young people, and it certainly made a change from chasing down criminals and dealing with the harsher realities of the city. Officer Jones had been in the police force for around 12 years, and she had seen it all, the good, the bad, and the ugly. But she was also a mother to three children of her own and had spent several years working in a school after graduating from college. This made her uniquely capable of dealing with children. She understood their ways of thinking and could connect with them in a way that many other police officers couldn't. Still, she could never have anticipated the situation she was about to face. After several hours, her talk was over, and it was clear she had made a fantastic impression on the kids. They hung on her every word as she shared stories and answered questions. It was evident the kids would remember this day for a long time, but then she heard the commotion outside the classroom. Approaching the door to the shared space, Officer Jones saw Christian on the floor, screaming and in tears. His teacher stood over him, ordering him to stand up and return to the classroom. The poor teacher looked worn out, so Officer Jones said goodbye to the class and excused herself. The cries of poor Christian tugged at her maternal instincts, and she felt compelled to help. Officer Jones approached the scene, placed her hand on the teacher's shoulder, and reassured her that she could return to her class. She would handle the situation. The teacher, looking more than a little burned out, gladly accepted the kind offer and hurried back to her classroom. Throughout the exchange, Christian remained face down on the floor, crying and wailing, clearly still having a terrible day. He didn't notice the police officer walking up, nor did he see his teacher leave, but he did hear something heavy being put down on a nearby table. Still, he refused to look up, continuing to create a scene. The noise came from Officer Jones removing her phone, keys, and heavy police officer belt and placing them gently on the table. This situation didn't require a heavy hand. It didn't require a police officer to order the young boy to comply or even use an authoritative tone. Officer Jones understood what was required. By removing her police belt, she was, metaphorically and literally, setting aside her role as an officer. At that moment, she wasn't Officer Jones, she was just Precious. Not the Precious who was used to chasing down hardened criminals and dealing with some of the most unbelievably awful things imaginable, but Precious who was a mother and kind and caring soul. 
and what she did next was nothing short of extraordinary. She bent down and gently stroked Christian's back, just as she had done with her own children so many times before. She softly asked him what was wrong, but still, the boy cried and wailed, refusing to connect. So she did something unexpected. She laid down on the floor next to him in a similar position and just stayed there. She let him cry, gently wiping away his tears. Then, suddenly, Christian looked at her. It was as if it had only just registered in his mind that it wasn't his teacher on the floor with him, it was a police officer. His cries stopped momentarily, and no fresh tears fell. Precious knew this was her opportunity to turn the situation around, but could she do it? Was Christian going to be receptive to her attempts to cheer him up and brighten his day? It remained to be seen. She did the only thing that made sense to her at that moment, which was to stick her tongue out and make a silly face. Christian just looked at her, no laughter yet, but no crying either. Precious took that as a good sign. She blew a raspberry at him. Miraculously, a small smile lit up Christian's face, and he blew a raspberry back. Precious laughed, and Christian let out a little giggle in return. She reached into her pocket and pulled out her shiny police badge, handing it to Christian. It was freshly polished only that morning, so it might distract him enough not to fall back into his well of sadness. Christian took the badge, sat up, and studied it. He couldn't read the words yet, but he liked how shiny and reflective it was as the golden metal gleamed in his face. Then, Christian stood up and did something so heartwarming it could bring tears to your eyes. He walked up to Precious, threw his arms around her, and told her that she had made his day. With a big smile, he added that when he grew up, he wanted to be a police officer just like her. Holding back tears, Precious embraced him and escorted him back to his classroom, where he happily joined the others for story time. Precious smiled as she fastened her belt, tucked her phone and keys away, and walked out of the school with her head held high. While she had done a great job speaking to the class, what would stay with her forever was Christian's memory, how she transformed his tears into a smile and inspired him. This story highlights the power of making human connections, regardless of age. Sometimes, meeting someone where they are, both physically and emotionally, can change not only their day, but potentially their life. I'm really keen to know your thoughts on this story, so please don't hesitate to share your insights in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and found it engaging, I invite you to subscribe to our channel for more similar content. Feel free to share this video, take good care of yourselves, and I'm excited to connect with you in our future videos.